Hi everybody, Jackie here with Joe Work from Mr. Level and today we're talking about um, filling voids. So you have a break wall and you need to fill in some voids between those rocks. So how do you do that? And yeah, one of our biggest void filling jobs is filling break walls. Um, anybody that lives on the lake, anybody that has a condo on the lake. Um, so for, for instance, this job here, uh, we had four or five nor'easters last year over the winter and they were smashing into his break wall and they're actually pulling out his backyard through the stones. Oh. So as the water hits the stone, it gets it hits the backyard. So he was, you know, up top about, you know, was it maybe 10 feet up, his patio and his backyard are actually settling because it's just going into the lake. So what we were hired to do is come in and actually spray foam inside all those rocks. So now as the water hits the rocks, it will actually be stopped by our foam and not by his backyard. Um, so this foam will expand um, oh. and it will actually um, it will actually combine with this, the rock. It will actually adhere itself to it. So if you were to go there today and try to peel that foam from the rock, it won't do it. Because it goes in as liquid and then it, it hardens after, so it's adhering to the rock right. itself. It's 100% liquid um, and then it foams up within 15 seconds and we can fill any nook and cranny. The, uh, the foam actually sprays out about two to three feet in length wow. so we can actually spray back in really really deep crevices and let that foam up so we don't have to do things that are just on the surface we can we can really get back into the situation now for a job like this in terms of cost it seems like this would be a really cost-effective way to secure a break wall and to solve this problem right maybe compared to other ways that would be more right. it's intrusive you know in this situation he already had an issue um, that he wanted to prevent it getting worse. Yeah. And that's generally when we were, we're called. We're, you know, I would love everybody to call us for 100% preventative. However, most of the time there's already a situation going on and they see it and they want to now prevent it from getting worse in the future. So he still does have some work in his house that needs to be done up top on the rock uh, for his backyard. From the settling right. that happened. Right, but if yeah. you would have called us before all this, we could have we could have most likely prevented that situation. So if you have a break wall in your backyard, if you're living on a river or you're living on the lake, then you definitely want to give Mr. Level a call because you you guys want to be more preventative with this and be proactive. It'll save you money down the road and this is a really cost effective and efficient option. This uh, polyurethane goes in liquid and foams up and hardens in, what did you say, 15 seconds? 15 seconds. And the great thing is that if you had a, a break wall that is just a solid, if you actually go back to that one picture, so that that concrete driveway is what it looks like is also a break wall um, and what we did the next day is we actually drilled holes in the top of that concrete and we pumped foam underneath that concrete as well because there was also washout so our foam is the only yes our foam is the only product that will reintroduce a compression value so we we're actually able to let the foam go in and it, it foams up and down first then left to right so we we're actually able to reintroduce the compression value now if the water slams into that um, it won't remove our foam. Our foam is a permanent wow. uh, a solution. So that's huge. Yeah. So it saves a lot of money. A lot of money. And if you're living on the lake, you know that saving money is a really big deal. So check them out online, mrlevel.com, to learn more. Thanks so much, Joe. Thank you, Jackie.